Well, g'day Scarefest fans, Glenn here from FakeChamp.net. It's great to be with you for another week, and I'm feeling really psyched about this one. Mostly thanks to Joe from Bonehead Weekly, of all people. I was watching him last week talk about the house with the clock in its walls, and how he was inspired to sort of explore more family-friendly horror films, mostly because of this time of isolation and family togetherness, and I thought that was a really great idea. So just for this week only, I'm going to do the same thing. So thanks, Joe. Um, love the inspiration, mate. I've got a film from 1986 called Frog Dreaming. Yep, that's Henry Thomas, the kid from E.T., and this movie represents a massive chunk of my childhood. It embodies all of the things that made the 80s adventure movies so damn good. It's got kids on bikes doing things they probably shouldn't. It's got dangerous situations that kids of today wouldn't even comprehend being part of. And of course, it has authorities hell-bent on catching those little buggers. And as the title Frog Dreaming alludes to, there is a huge element of mystery and fantasy with this story exploring indigenous dreamtime mythologies. Now the dreamtime to us down here is more or less the equivalent to the I guess spiritual stories and myths of ancestry among your Native American people. So anyway Frog Dreaming tells the story of Cody, an American kid who lives with his Australian uncle after his parents die. He's an inquisitive type, he builds contraptions and loves adventure and when he discovers that a local lake has a mysterious creature living inside it he sets about building a homemade scuba outfit to venture to the bottom of the lake. Naturally, things never go as planned and his adventure turns into a story of mishap and peril. Anyway, I'm sounding like I'm reading off a VHS cover or something, so I'll stop. Anyway, all you need to know is that Frog Dreaming is a wonderful family adventure that nudges into the family-friendly horror realms and it's a fantastic way to introduce your kids to the excitement of horror without being too edgy. It was directed by Brian Trenchard-Smith, who is a master movie director who I'm sure many of you have heard of. And finally, I can't talk about Frog Dreaming without mentioning that it was written by Everett D. Roche, who is possibly the greatest screenwriter of all time. I've talked about him before, I'll talk about him again. <laughs> Some of his best work is Road Games, Patrick, Harlequin. This guy was a legend. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> now, if you're watching this trailer and it all seems kind of familiar, maybe that's because you have seen it. Over there in America, it was released as The Quest. Uh, but for some bizarre reason, they gave Cody a rifle on the cover, which is kind of weird because he doesn't have any guns in the movie and we really don't have guns here in general. But hey, that's the American publicity machine for you. It's all about what you know, right? <laughs> and in the UK, the film was released as The Go Kids, which was their attempt to cash in on the popularity of The Goonies at the time, which was a fair comparison, to be honest with you. And check out the poster. If that's not a ripoff, then I'll be damned. It is such a wonderful film. I watch it at least once a year without fail. That's how much I love it. And um, I hope you guys get a chance to watch it. It's well worth finding. It's not available on any streaming services over there that I'm aware of. But if you jump onto YouTube, I think there's a full version of it in standard definition, um, which is well worth a look. But if you really, really like the look of it, then hop onto the Australian eBay and find a Blu-ray copy from down here because it's region free and it's high definition and the film has never looked better and it's packed with special features um, including interviews and commentaries and things like that so um, frog dreaming add it to your collection please <laughs> anyway that's it for another week from me don't forget I've got a podcast you might want to listen to every week it's good movie Monday drops on your Sunday and that's about it from me I'll catch you next week